we are at Marie and Cantine. Did I say that right? Compton. Mm, Compton. And this is Tom. Yeah. And we are in this beautiful cheese yeah. shop that's right around from our yeah. hotel. And he's just going to talk to us about a few cheeses that are very customary and typical in, in Paris, as well as uh, one that we know that's a traditional brie. So let's start out with the one that's really um, quite something and, and really beautiful <laughs> and kind of unique. To Paris or to France? To France. As it's a Comte cheese, which is a bit like a Swiss cheese, but only French, and it has different varieties, different ages. So we have two we made of, uh, from 2006, one's May, one's October, and we have 2005 and 2004. And so when somebody comes into the store to buy this, how, how do they ask for this? Uh, like in kilos? And yeah, in kilos, and they asked for the number of months it's been matured. Wow, and what do, you, what do you serve with this? What is this served with? Uh, you actually eat this one without bread or anything. Really? Yeah. At the end of the meal? Is that yeah. the French tradition? Well, the young one you have at the end of the meal, the old one you have as a starter. Oh, with a lovely glass of wine. Oh, really? Mm. How delicious. Well, let's move on. So next, what you were saying is that uh, traditional, uh, the brie, the, uh, not the brie, the blue, blue cheese, what, what is your favorite and what's traditional? Well, the Roquefort is particularly strong and it's made out of sheep's milk, which is different to the other blues, which are made of cow's milk. Oh, really? Yeah, Roquefort, that's why it's also more expensive than the other ones. It's because it's the sheep, or well, the human makes more uh, less milk than the cow. And so you say it's more expensive, so what are we talking here? What's, what's less and what's more? Uh, the Roquefort is more expensive than the other blues. Well, the price-wise, what's uh, the difference? Well, three times. Three the, times more. Three times? Yeah. So what, what, what it looks that's like... That's 42 euros a kilo, oh. and that's 17 euros a kilo. Oh, that's a huge difference. Yeah. That's a huge difference. Beautiful. Well, they're absolutely cut. And what about this one? This is so dark and rich in color. What's yeah, that's, a, that's quite a rare cheese. It's a lacquerie blue. It's from Auvergne, the center of France. Mm -hmm. And it's like a bleu d'Auvergne, which has been dry, um, dried and... Uh, Kind of, uh, it's, just, it's just a very dry, dry cheese, and it's very particular, and it's very rare, and I think we're one of the only shops doing it in Paris. Really? Mm, I think so. Interesting. And how long has this shop been around? Uh, 25 years here, and since the 50s in another store in Paris. Yeah, and you don't sound like you're from France at all. No, half English. <laughs> wow, you must have been here for a long time. Well, come on, let's go over here. This is what we see traditionally in America as French uh -huh. cheese. Of course. Um, but is it better? Is it different? Is it... Well, it's much better here because it's been matured in our cellars downstairs. And so, uh, it's, and it's also made out of raw milk, which is the big difference here in the States. Oh, wow. So it means it's not pasteurized. Not at all. So we can't even actually have this in the States. No. <laughs> wow. That is a huge, huge difference. And what about prices over here? How, how much of these? Uh, this is kind of a reasonable price cheese. Uh, I mean, a piece like that is like one, uh, six, yeah, six euros. Is this popular in Paris? Very popular. People eat that on a oh, regular yeah, all basis? Oh, yeah. As much as camembert, because camembert really? is the traditional one. And are these cheeses much stronger? Uh, or are they just no, very mild? That's very mild. That's very yeah. mild. The more uh, the creamier they are, the milder they are. Usually. Creamier the mild. Yeah. Sounds Why good. depends on this one, <laughs> on this stand. The white ones are mild, and the colored ones are quite strong. And then, what do you do about wine and pairing? And we talked about. The others being before the meal and after the meal. Well, people usually tend to think that red wine is better with cheese, but that's not that true. Really? Yeah, because you can eat um, cow cheeses are nice with red wine, but goat's cheeses are delicious with white wine. But you can also have white wine with any cheese at all, so might as well have white wine and just a selection of cheese. That's, that sounds like my plan. Well, and then in the front we have a beautiful assortment of goat cheese. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, all the goat's cheeses are in the window. Uh, it's they're actually in season right now. Oh, what about season? What does that mean? 
Uh, well, you usually have the mountain cheeses in the summer because you don't have um, grass in the winter, of course, because it's all snow. <laughs> that makes sense. And um, and the goats, uh, it's because they don't supply a very big amount of milk. Uh, you can only have them maybe six months in a year. So that's from let's say April to October. April to October. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. But in the United States, we don't really have a season for cheese, I oh, feel right. like. So they just import in, and we have what we have. Um, this one looks like a very fascinating cheese. What, what's around that? Uh, vegetable ashes. It's uh, it's like a fresh cheese like this. Yes. Uh, which would be covered with vegetable ashes and then matured. How do they make the vegetable ashes? Do you know? Uh, it's actually uh, leaves uh, from different kind, mostly grape, grape leaves, but uh, other kind of leaves, and they just uh, burn them and get the ashes back and then cover it all the cheese up. That sounds wonderful. Well, it looks like you all are busy. It's a Saturday afternoon, so I'm going to let you go back to work. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. I've got my beautiful cheeses ready to go. I ended up buying a brie and a lovely goat cheese. Not a goat cheese, a sheep cheese that I'm going to take back to the Paris Hotel. That was beautiful. It's our first introduction to Paris and it's the perfect way to begin. I'll talk to you soon.